Hey guys, it's Jess from My Magical Planner, and I'm back here with another video for you guys. This week we'll be planning out the week of July 19th through the 25th, and I will be doing this in collaboration with seven other amazing channels. We are doing a Christmas in July themed, so it's going to be so fun. And I'm going to go ahead and run through all of these channels, but I will link them down below. So it's really easy to find everybody and everything. They're all amazing and wonderful people. And a lot of them are Disney friends. So if you're into Disney content, please, please go check them out. They're all amazing. First, we have Robin, who is our coordinator. This was totally her idea, and I think it's amazing. So Robin is from Oh Hello Robin, and she does pins as well as planning and is just the best. Then we have Nicole from Irresistibly Magic. She's just so, so sweet and so creative. She does... So Robin does a happy planner. Nicole does... Um, like bullet journaling, I think it is. She is so artistic and she makes the most wonderful drawings. Then we have Karen from Happily Planning with Karen, who is one of my very good friends. She has the best laugh in the world. So every time I watch her, I just giggle. <laughs> then we have Holly from Plan With Me HP. She's a new friend that I've made through the planning community and she's incredibly sweet, a UK planner and her spreads always look stunning. We also have Heather, the Disney housewife, who I also adore. She makes such cute videos and is just the sweetest person, so spiritual and so amazing. And then the last one is Hope and Abby, the Disney sisters and it's probably Abby who's going to be doing the planning. I think that's right. I sometimes get them confused because I haven't actually met them in person. And yeah, sometimes. <laughs> yeah. They are amazing. They do pin content. They do vlogs at the parks because I live close to the park. They're doing like a clue type video that's really cool. You're going to love all of the channels, I promise. So with that being said, let's go over the kit I'm gonna be using this week. So I had planned on using a pretty sheepy kit, but I left it on my desk. <laughs> it's been a week, guys. <laughs> so I left it out on my desk and Wednesday night, um, life threw me a curveball <laughs> and my garage caught on fire. My office is directly above the garage. Um, I am in here right now. It, does smell a little smoky and my voice um, might get a little gravelly. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a voice over or talk through or just speed it up. Um, it's gonna depend a little bit on that. But anyhow, with leaving it out, it did get a little bit of smoke damage. So I, I don't know that I'm gonna be using that one at all, but at least for right now, I decided to set it aside and instead I'm gonna do, whoop, I'm going to do this kit from Rise and Plan that I had purchased last year. I don't know if this is still in their shop. It might be. It's called Christmas in the Kingdom. And so it came with this little fashion girls. You have your glitter headers. These beautiful, beautiful boxes of kind of Main Street in Christmas colors. You have check boxes and flags and decorative boxes. This bottom washi, which is really cute, more kind of decorative headers, your weeklies, your checklist. You have all these icons, a little bit of layering decal here, and just some nice boxes. You have your to-dos and todays and all that on this page, as well as water trackers. And then I feel like I, nope. Only one more page. <laughs> this is your deco, um, the longer checklists, your days of the week, and date dots and all of that. I'm excited to get into this. Besides these, I have also pulled out a couple of other little things that I thought might enhance the spread. I do have this snowflake left over from last year from The Graceful Muse. I also pulled out some little squiggles from Sadie Stickers. And I thought that maybe these hollow from Scribble Print Co. or Wiggles? Scribbles, Wiggles, Wiggles. 
um, might go really well because of the sparkle. So I'm going to kind of see how that plays out for me, as well as these tiny snowflake dividers and these bow dividers, because I couldn't decide, like, I was like, bows, oh yeah, presents. So I might use those ones. And I also have these twinkles from the Giving Girl. They're called Starburst Fairy Lights, and I thought that kind of went with Christmas lights. So I have all of those, plus I have this Ryzen plan, Christmas Girls with red hair that I thought could work. And I pulled out a bunch of planner cake kind of scripts that I might use as well as these dots from Erin Condren which I've had for forever and I pulled out these boxes in case I needed another couple of red or green boxes. I also have some happy planner stickers that I might pull from. This was actually an amazing gift from Heather the Disney housewife. It was so so generous of her so I thought in in honor of her since we're doing this together that I'd probably pull a couple of stickers from here as well. So that's kind of my general thought. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get into this and we'll see how it goes. Last year I Yes, I am on my way. Every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside, we gather around the fireplace and no one cares about yesterday.
guys I am back here to kind of go through my week with you and it has been <laughs> it's been a couple of days because with the garage fire and everything there's just been a lot of moving parts around here plus this room started to really irritate my airways we do have air scrubbers in here now I did turn them off for this video because they make quite a bit of noise I don't know going forward there might be a couple of weeks where I can't film I'm not really sure so there's there's really a lot going on behind the scenes here right now so um yeah <laughs> 
I am not going to name all of the stickers, like where they came from. If there's a sticker that you like and you wanna know where it's from, just leave me a comment down below and I'm happy to share that information with you. So I made just a little scene up here in the corner using a snowman, which was from the Happy Planner sticker book and this July script, which is new. Um, I just got this from Planner Kate. She just opened up a new shop, so she has like a discount going. So if you like things like this, I would go check her out. She's very reasonably priced and you get amazing stickers with it. So I have that. And then I also added in this tree, which was part of some Christmas deco that I had gotten from Rise and Plan last year. Um, I really liked adding these little squiggles at the top. I thought they looked like Christmas lights is what I was going for. Um, they're not foiled. They'd look better, I think, if they were, but it's still really fun. These were from The Giving Girl. And then I added in one of the decorative boxes and overlaid it with some of the Scribble Prints Co.'s foil that kind of made me think of snowflakes because it's that hollow foil. And then I went ahead and added in my dinners for the week here. Hopefully I can follow this this week and nothing more crazy comes up, but we'll see. Um, I'll just kind of walk you through my process of what dinners I picked and why. So Monday, we're going to have Ben slash leftovers. I usually make a big meal on Sunday, so there's always leftovers. I'm going to have a late night on Monday, and so it just makes sense to have that so that if the kids get hungry, they have options. Tuesday is always Taco Tuesday. It's actually the day that the kids take over cooking for me and as a team they make tacos and it's really sweet. Wednesday I have crock pot lasagna. My son Daniel has really been wanting to have lasagna and since I know I'm going to be out and about until late that evening it again made sense to have a crock pot meal so that's something super easy we can just throw together. On Thursday, I listened to a podcast called The Lazy Genius. I love her to death. And she has this recipe called Change Your Life Chicken, which I'll try and link down below for you guys. And it's super easy. It's like a sheet pan all in one meal. And so that's the plan for Thursday. Friday is my husband's birthday. So his favorite thing is steak. So we'll be doing steak and potatoes and a veggie. Just very simple. Um, Saturday, we usually have a lot of moving parts, so I'm planning on leftovers, and then Sunday, I'll do a roast chicken. So that's kind of my general plan for the week. I went ahead and put in two habit trackers. One is just a reminder to journal, because that's really helping me get through some things right now. Um, I haven't really said anything as of yet, because I don't have test results back but my endoscopy did reveal a growth in my stomach that we're, we're waiting on results for, and it's scary, and I don't know what's next. Um, I have some hypothesis, because <laughs> I research everything, but journaling kind of helps me get things in perspective between that and the fire and just everything that's going on right now. So I have that, and I have the food log, which... I'm trying to do okay on. Sometimes I forget. So I'm, I need to be better on that. So every day I start with a to-do list. This just kind of helps me get my thoughts organized for the day. Some of them I have added things in. Like Monday, I have to start a list for the insurance company of, of they just want a list of all the items, which is quite extensive because I don't know about your garage, but my garage was packed. So we have to start that. Um, I have to rewash everything in all the rooms from the smoke. So I'm going to start doing laundry. Well, I've already started, but I'm going to continue and I'm trying to try and get through all the laundry in my room on Monday. Like we've gotten everybody at least one load, but you know, you have to go through everything, even if they haven't worn it and wash it. So I'm going to start working on that. And I'm kind of trying to do one room a day because I feel like that's easier. So I've got that. Um, I've got a bunch of uh, sticker stuff that I'm going to send to a friend. 
and so I have that on here. Hopefully it'll get out on Monday. If not, I'll just have to transfer it over to another day. Dan has practice in the morning, and then I have another decorative sticker, which I, again, overlaid with one of the Scribble Prints Co's. And then Megan has practice on Monday. I love this new practice script that I got from Planner Kate. And this little girl, I wish I could get just a whole sheet of her because she's adorable. I mean, seriously. But that was from Rise and Plan. And then I used a Harriet Wright Designs um, silver divider here with a little bow. Just really simple. Um, in the evening, well, it's evening, 4.30, um, we go over Ethan's test results for his ADD testing and everything. I know that that is going to be at least an hour because, I mean, we're going over two days of testing. So I don't have an exact time, though, that that's going to take, which is part of the reason I decided to do the leftovers. Then Tuesday, again, I have this to-do list. I do have the unicorn getting groceries because usually I'll put it on order on either Sunday or Monday and then Tuesdays when it realistically makes it to the house. <laughs> um, I'm going to make a must-do list for Disney because we decided with everything going on that my husband booked me a trip to Disney because I just kind of process things a little bit better in my happy place. So I will be going to Disney in August um, just for a couple days. And then I'm going to do the laundry for the girls room. Dan has practice. Um, Megan has practice. I loved the addition of using the deco with the little skater girl. And then I just have, you know, some decorative elements here. Wednesday on my to-do list, I put post on Instagram. Um, I have to brainstorm some editing and film locations. Like I can do some filming in here right now, um, but my airway does get kind of irritated in here. Plus as they demo the garage and do all the reconstruction work there, which is directly below my office, um, I'm not sure that I will be able to film in here. So I'm not sure how that's gonna go. Um, and then I'm going to try and get all the boys laundry done on Wednesday. So hopefully after Wednesday, all the things that need to be washed, like as far as clothes will get done. And then I can start on things like curtains and all of that stuff. Um, Dan has practice. I have a therapy session with my person, which is super important right now. Um, then we have showcase practice in the evening and in theory, I have the day off from YouTube. So that's kind of the theory. <laughs> Thursday um, on my to-do list, I have, so I, I can't remember which, I watch a lot of organ, or I listen to a lot of organizational podcasts and I'm trying to declutter and with the fire, it's made it even more out, like at the front of my mind. So I'm gonna go through the house with a garbage bag and figure out, you know, uh, that amount of stuff that can go, be it that it needs to go in the trash or it needs to donate, whatever. So I think they call it like a 15 minute tidy or something like that. So I have that. Um, I need to find a place to get my nails done because my place that I currently go to, they're booked up like four weeks out and nails don't last that long. <laughs> So I need to find some place and hopefully as long as I have enough energy, I'm going to map the downstairs to start getting that part of the cleanup process in place. I mean, we do have a special cleaning company that's coming in and doing stuff, but there's just all this miscellaneous stuff because we're still living here. It's not like we're going to go to a hotel or something um, because the damage isn't that bad. We were so lucky. Anyhow, um, Dan has practice. Oh, no, this is Megan's practice. Why did I put a running person? I bet you I thought it was Dan's practice. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> but anyhow, there's practice for Megan. And then she also has off ice. And I put this So Sweaty sticker from um, Coffee Monster Co. Because she can't stand to be sweaty. And they do off ice outside. And... She is much happier on the ice where it's cold. <laughs> it's like, I think she once told me that her pores were crying. <laughs> um, 
Dan has his dinner run with the cross country team and they have uh, a pizza dinner. And then Friday, I have an empty to their list because I figure things are like, I don't really know at that point out what the big things I'm going to need to get done are. It's my husband's birthday. Um, Megan has, or Dan has practice, then Megan has practice. I really liked this idea of using one of the skater girls and then one of the squiggles because it kind of looks like the lines in the ice that they make sometimes. So then I put in this suitcase sticker and overlaid it with, I'm pretty sure this was from Scribble Prints Co. as well, but the, I don't know how well you guys can see that. Um, but it says, I'm done adulting. Let's go to Disney. <laughs> It's kind of how I'm feeling right now. Um, it's also payday, and I figure with my husband's birthday, I'll make a special effort to make it date night as well. Saturday, of course, we have the to-do list, which I've only got cleaning with the little unicorn. We have a grad party. I'm kind of on the fence if I'll go. Um, I just, I haven't been feeling social interactions lately. Um, I think it's due to the amount of back pain I have right now which is due to the growth we think that they found during the endoscopy. Um, then I have planner time kind of marked off because I don't know if I'm going to get to it on Friday, which has become my new typical day for planning. So that's there. I have a Hello Weekend sticker that I had to put back together because I ripped it. <laughs> I'm loving the scene with the overlays on top of them it just it's a really awesome scene and then i used one of these i think it's a once more with love freebie that i got where he's like all tangled up in the lights and i just like him so again sunday i have to do i'll probably start again on laundry because with a family of six laundry is a never-ending process i put this diagram of the planner here and put a work script in the box um just kind of if I can get some videos planned out and worked out um, on Sunday, that would be great. And then it'll be movie night and we usually watch a Disney movie. At the bottom, I kind of put in, I cut the washi strips because I don't like the super thick ones. So I cut it down and then I overlaid it with just a sparkle overlay that kind of looked like snowflakes to me and added in the Be Merry and Fall Off from the Happy Planner stickers. Added in a little deco from the kit, as well as these are from the Rise and Plan Christmas kit where they, where these ones, other ones came. So that's kind of everything for this week. Like I said, if I missed where a sticker was from or something, feel free to go ahead and leave me a message about that. I can't wait to go see everybody else's spreads. It's going to be amazing. I love the fact that we got to use Christmas stickers in July. I just think that's really fun. So don't forget to check everybody out. Everybody's listed down below with links to their channels and I think you're going to really enjoy watching all of these. So until next time, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye.